And we're following new developments around Donald Trump's legal problems. The Wall Street Journal is reporting the search of his Mar-a-Lago estate was prompted by an inside tip to investigators. The report says more papers were stored in the residence beyond what Trump had turned over earlier in the year. And Julia Wong joins me now from Washington. Julia, good morning. What more are we learning from this Wall Street Journal report? So, Chris, the newspaper is reporting, as you mentioned, an informant was the one who told investigators about the possibility of more classified records being stored at Mar-a-Lago. Now, earlier this year, 15 boxes of official White House records from Trump's presidency were, turned, were returned to the National Archives. But there were doubts that everything had been handed over, though Trump and his legal team say they had been cooperating to turn over those materials. Then the FBI conducted its unprecedented search earlier this week. FBI agents were at the property for several hours and reportedly left with about a dozen boxes. The operation was executed after a judge signed off on a search warrant. A lawyer for Trump told the Wall Street Journal that warrant contained reference to the Presidential Records Act, which came as a result of Watergate, and possible legal violations over the handling of classified information. Now, that warrant is sealed, but former U.S. Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, who served under former President George W. Bush, says Trump himself could release the warrant and the return, which would outline the items that were seized during the search. But Gonzalez suggested that it may not be politically advantageous for Trump to do that. So, Julia, this raid prompted a firestorm of reaction, but up until now, we really haven't heard much from the FBI. The Bureau's director is now speaking. What is he saying? Yeah, so as you mentioned, the FBI has stayed really quiet about the search, and the FBI director, Christopher Wray, was in Nebraska for an unrelated press conference. He was asked about the search, but said that it wasn't something he could really speak to. However, he did have a sharp response when asked about threats that have been issued against agents who were involved in the operation. I will say that I'm always concerned about violence and threats of violence against law enforcement and any threats made against law enforcement, including the men and women of the FBI, uh, as with any law enforcement agency, are, are deplorable and dangerous. Now, there have been other types of rhetoric on online forums and other types of platforms since the search. Language such as locked and loaded and this is a civil war have been popping up, according to experts. Some posts have even said the current U.S. Attorney General needs to be assassinated. We have never seen anything like this. As soon as the news broke about the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago, we saw angry cries from radical supporters of President Trump, from a range of right-wing extremists. Throughout all of this, that Attorney General Merrick Garland has not issued any type of statement, has not held any type of public event. Some Republicans have called for him to be investigated to explain the search, but Garland has previously said silence is necessary to protect investigations. Chris. All right, Julia, thank you so much for the update. Julia Wong reporting for us from Washington.